everybody. In this video, I would like to show you how you can install the Voodoo 3 drivers onto our Windows 98 Second Edition virtual machine so that we can get games to work. And let me put this into full screen for you. If you want to put it into full screen, you have to press Control, Alt, and Page Down all simultaneously. There you go. And I am going to show you guys something on the desktop. Go to properties. As you can see, there's go to settings. And as you can see, there's only a maximum. There's a maximum of 16 colors that you can have that the VGA output of the generic adapter puts out. That's not enough to get games to work, so that won't cut it. And if we and if we install the Voodoo 3 drivers onto Windows 98 in the VM, you'll have more color options. Such as you, you will have the choice to go to 256 colors, which will allow you to run the games because the games usually require at the very least 256 colors and as you can see you can't in increase the resolution it's just stuck at 640 by 480 and again that's the v the, the generic display adapters um resolution so what we're going to do is we're going to install those drivers and i will show you how to do that after we go back into Windows mode, we're back into Windows mode and I will show you how to install the drivers. Okay, let, now let's install those drivers. Be sure you download, sorry, be sure you download this folder, Win98 drivers. It's in it's in a link in the description below this video. Be sure to do download that to my Dropbox. And once you do that, just go up to CD-ROM and make sure it's empty. And then go to Load Image and navigate to wherever the folder is. Mine is right here. And look for this folder. 3DFX Voodoo 3 3000 and then this and then boom it's mounted and the setup should, should automatically come up there you go and, and what you do is you just go on like that and it should yes and now it's copying all the files to the C drive the sync drive and it should reboot itself Just press escape. And now Windows will start and and we we should be able to change the resolution and the color. Windows is building the database. back in Windows. Still has to copy more files. DirectX 7, that, that's going to be very handy for gaming. Okay, we have to restart again. The Windows 98, it's always restart, restart, restart. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's all a part of the experience, right? Again, press escape.
It's doing this again. Don't worry. Just wait. Wait it out. Wait, wait, wait. And we're back at the desktop. And let me put it put this into full screen. Again, control alt and page down at the same time. Okay. Now all the drivers should be properly installed. But to double check, we're going to go up to my computer, right click it, and then go to properties, and we go to the device manager tab. And if we and if we go to display adapter, if it was a success, your 3DFX Voodoo 3 adapter should show up here. And yeah, so apparently it went well. And now what we can do is we can change the resolution and change the color. Let's go. Properties. Go to settings. And let's see if we can change color. Oh, look at that. You can, it went from 16 colors to high color. It defaulted to this. We want 256 colors. And now you can increase and decrease the resolution. It's pretty cool, right? I think I'm going to put mine down to 960 by 720. It's good enough. And then click apply. Yes. Of course we do. So yeah, guys, in, in the next video, I will show you how you can install um, another type of driver, which will basically enable you to configure other settings. Basically, once we install the other set of drivers, we will be able to, there will be an extra con control panel within the display settings. So we can configure like the 3D acceleration and stuff like that. But that's the next video. So yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments, Leave them.